The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords of Arizona, USA, who was inflicted with a life-threatening gunshot wound six months ago, has made a remarkable recovery and is being discharged from the hospital to return home with her husband, astronaut Mark Kelly. Mr. Jeremy Ratcliffe, former aide of respected South African statesman Nelson Mandela, who had been accused of illegal ownership of uncut diamonds, was cleared of all charges Wednesday in a ruling by South African magistrates. After being on display for a year in Paris, France, an exhibition of three giant traditional Russian dolls, or Matryoshka, each measuring up to 13 meters high, is being transferred to Moscow for the enjoyment of the Russian public. Agence France Presse reports that an international research team at the Selgranska University Hospital in Yotabori, Sweden, has announced plans for a first-ever mother-to-daughter womb transplant with expected success in part due to the tissue similarity between the related patients. With inflation rising to 9.06% in May from the previous year, India's central bank raised interest rates Thursday in an effort to curb inflation and keep prices affordable. In South Korea, thanks to a 44 million U.S. dollar project sponsored by the municipal government of Seoul, residents and visitors will soon be able to enjoy free Wi-Fi or wireless internet in outdoor locations throughout the city. The school board for the Los Angeles Unified School District in California, USA, approves a 50 million U.S. dollar five-year contract to bring more vegetarian meals such as California veg sushi and spinach tortellini and butternut squash sauce to replace unhealthy food options. In Indonesia, eminent lawyers, celebrities, animal lovers, and animal rights groups come together in a call for the government to enact legislation against animal cruelty that will allow for legal intervention on behalf of animal welfare. 